Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Who will USA Basketball send to Paris Olympics? Here's a potential 12-man roster. 2023 Africa Cup of Nations, 5 things we learned on day 11 Gotcha. James, Embiid, Curry and Durant are in the US player pool for the Paris Olympics. NBA, refs missed 10 calls in last 2 minutes as Timberwolves blew Carl Anthony Towns' 62-point game versus Hornets. How the Chiefs, Ravens' defensive coordinators could shape Sunday's AFC Championship The exempt list. Who will USA Basketball send to Paris Olympics? Here's a potential 12-man roster. Yahoo! USA Basketball has released a preliminary list of 41 players from which the men's national team will be selected for the Paris Olympics next year. The list includes a dozen players who have won Olympic gold before, as well as five who have won gold at the FIBA World Championships. Not all players on the list will be available due to injuries and playoff commitments, but many big names in the NBA have expressed interest in participating. A 12-man roster has been suggested, featuring players such as Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James. 2023 Africa Cup of Nations, 5 Things We Learned on Day 11 Gotcha. RFI. Mauritania defeated Algeria 1-0 in their final game in Group D of the Africa Cup of Nations, despite being ranked much lower than their opponents. This victory secured Mauritania's first win at the tournament and a place in the knockout stages as one of the four best third-place teams. Ghana, on the other hand, saw their hopes extinguished with only two points. Defending champions Algeria also failed to progress beyond the group stages, which may lead to questions about their coach Jamal Belmadi. Meanwhile, Egypt captain M.O. Sulla has returned to Liverpool for treatment on a hamstring injury, causing some controversy in his home country. James, Embiid, Curry and Durant are in the U.S. player pool for the Paris Olympics. Associated Press Golden State Warriors player Draymond Green was not included in the 41-player pool announced by USA Basketball for the Paris Olympics. Green, who helped the U.S. win gold at the Rio de Janeiro Games in 2016 and the Tokyo Olympics in 2021, was not among the candidates for the team that will compete in Paris this summer. The pool includes big names like LeBron James, Joel Embiid, Stephen Curry, and Kevin Durant, who could become the first men's player with four basketball golds if the U.S. wins in Paris. The final team selection will be made this spring. NBA, refs missed 10 calls in last two minutes as Timberwolves blew Carl Anthony Towns' 62-point game versus Hornets. Yahoo! NBA officials missed 10 calls in the final two minutes of the game between the Charlotte Hornets and the Minnesota Timberwolves on Monday, according to the NBA's last two-minute report. Among the missed calls were two fouls on the Timberwolves' Carl Anthony Towns, who had a chance to break the franchise record in points and take the lead for Minnesota in the final seconds of the game. The Hornets won 128-125. The report also indicated that officials missed two travels and two personal fouls that could have been called on the Hornets, and three incorrect non-calls on fouls committed by the Timberwolves. How the Chiefs, Ravens' defensive coordinators could shape Sunday's AFC Championship The exempt list. Yahoo! In this article, Yahoo Sports NFL writer Charles McDonald and Marshall Newhouse discuss the upcoming AFC Championship game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. They focus on both teams' defensive units and provide insights and analysis for the game. The full conversation can be heard on the exempt list with Charles McDonald podcast. Can the world's largest cruise ship really be climate-friendly? New York Times. Royal Caribbean has christened the world's largest cruise ship, the Icon of the Seas, in Miami. The ship has a capacity to carry nearly 8,000 people and is 1,198 feet long. It features amenities such as a 55-foot waterfall, six water slides, and over 40 restaurants, bars, and entertainment venues. The ship also incorporates energy-efficient technology to minimize its carbon footprint and move closer to Royal Caribbean's goal of introducing a net-zero ship by 2035. However, the ship has faced criticism for its potential environmental impact. Chris Hutton fired as Ghana coach after team's early Africa Cup exit. Associated Press. Chris Hutton has been fired as the coach of the Ghana national football team following the team's early exit from the Africa Cup of Nations. The Ghana Football Association announced the decision after the team's elimination was confirmed. The executive council has also decided to dissolve the technical team of the Black Stars. Ghana missed the chance to progress to the last 16 after drawing with Mozambique and losing to Cape Verde in the group stage. The Ghana Football Association will provide a roadmap on the future direction of the Black Stars in the coming days. Hall of Fame, Adrian Beltra, Joe Maurer, Todd Helton elected, Billy Wagner misses by five votes. Yahoo!
Third baseman Adrian Beltra, catcher Joe Maurer, and first baseman Todd Helton have been elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. Beltra, who is considered one of the best third basemen of all time, retired with 3,166 hits and 477 home runs. Maurer, a former Minnesota Twins player, was an All-Star six times and won five silver sluggers, three gold gloves, and the 2009 American League MVP award. Helton, who spent his entire 17-year career with the Colorado Rockies, retired with 2,519 hits and 369 home runs. China's economy is off to a bad start in 2024. Foreign Policy Chinese stock markets have experienced a sharp decline this year due to the fallout from the COVID-19 pandemic, government mismanagement, and a property bubble. The CSI 300 index has dropped by 6%, the Shanghai Composite Index has dropped by 7%, and Hong Kong's Hang Seng Index has fallen by more than 12%. This has dampened Beijing's efforts to portray a rosy picture of economic recovery. The Chinese government has attempted to stabilize the yuan in response to the decline. The decline in stock markets is mainly driven by an unprecedented sell-off by foreign investors, who are not subject to government pressure to hold on to shares. The stock market decline is significant, but the property market is doing even worse, with new home prices, property investment, and new home sales all falling. This decline is hitting hard due to the Chinese government and public being accustomed to high GDP growth. The slowdown in the Chinese economy could mean that the United States will be substantially ahead of China in terms of GDP growth by 2050. Team USA finalists, LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Stephen Curry, Anthony Edwards headline pool for 2024 Olympics. Yahoo! Team USA has selected its 41-player pool for the 2024 Olympics in Paris, with the list headlined by LeBron James, Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry. The U.S. team is aiming to win its fifth consecutive men's basketball gold at the Games. The squad for Paris will be trimmed to 12 players, with Steve Kerr as coach. Bucks fire head coach Adrian Griffin, reportedly negotiating with Doc Rivers to replace him. Yahoo! The Milwaukee Bucks have fired head coach Adrian Griffin. The Bucks announced the decision Tuesday afternoon alongside a statement from general manager John Horst, confirming earlier reports. ESPN's Adrian Wojnarowski and The Athletic's Shams Charania reported Tuesday that veteran NBA coach Doc Rivers is a top candidate for the job and was already negotiating with the Bucks. Golden State Warriors assistant Kenny Atkinson is also being considered for the position if negotiations with Rivers don't lead to a deal, per Charania. You wouldn't even know they had a netball team, former Pies coach saddened by seven-year erasure from club's history. ABC Australia remains undefeated in the Netball Nations Cup after the London leg of the tour. The Diamonds have already secured a spot in the final before their last round-robin match against Uganda. After the final, the players will have a week off before returning to their super netball teams, who are in pre-season mode. The assistant coach for the Diamonds, Nicole Richardson, is also the assistant coach for the incoming Mavericks team in the Super Netball League. Richardson has had to deal with controversy surrounding the now-defunct Collingwood Magpies team, which withdrew from Super Netball last year despite receiving financial support from the federal government. The recent drama was sparked by a video uploaded by Collingwood, which showcased the club's new training area over the old netball court. Many people drew conclusions between the federal government grant and the upgrades at Collingwood HQ, Richardson expressed disappointment with the lack of recognition for the history of the Collingwood netball team. She is now focused on her role with the Diamonds and the Mavericks. Bucks' dismissal of Adrian Griffin illustrates where they are as a team. Yahoo! The Milwaukee Bucks fired head coach Adrian Griffin after just 43 games in charge, with one of the main issues said to be Griffin's inability to establish a true pecking order, which has resulted in a lack of defensive identity. Yahoo Sports reports that the Bucks have identified Doc Rivers as a prime target to replace Griffin, with the former Philadelphia 76ers coach possessing the championship experience that Milwaukee crave. Griffin had been given the Bucks' job ahead of Nick Nurse, who was strongly rumored to be the next head coach, but after a disappointing first half of the season, Griffin was dismissed. The report also suggests that the Bucks' front office are feeling the pressure to make instant improvements, as their core players are not getting any younger, and the franchise has only won one playoff series since the 2021 NBA Finals. Yuga X, the most decorated mascot in Georgia program history, has died. Yahoo! Yuga X, the University of Georgia's English Bulldog mascot, has died at the age of 10. Known as K, he served as the school's mascot for eight seasons, overseeing two national championships and two SEC titles. He retired following the 2022 season and was succeeded by Yuga 11, also known as Boom.
K is the most decorated bulldog in program history. The Georgia Bulldog mascot line dates back to 1955 and is cared for by Charles Seiler and his family in Savannah, Georgia. Racist abuse online violated Japan goalkeeper Suzuki's human rights, coach says. South China Morning Post. Japan coach Hajime Moriyasu has condemned racist abuse suffered by goalie Zion Suzuki after the team's shock loss to Iraq at the AFC Asian Cup. Moriyasu said he strongly objected to those who violated the human rights of the player, who asked people to stop making racist comments. Suzuki is of Japanese and Ghanaian heritage and made his debut in a 6-0 victory over Hong Kong at the 2022 East Asian Football Championship. Moriyasu's team face Indonesia on Wednesday and a loss would be a major upset. Hello, I'm Dr. Six from the Six Degree World, here to bring you the latest news from around the globe. Let's dive right into it. In basketball news, USA Basketball has released a preliminary roster for the Paris Olympics next year. The list includes some big names like Stephen Curry, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James. However, notable players like Draymond Green did not make the cut. It will be interesting to see who ultimately makes the 12-man roster. Moving on to the Africa Cup of Nations, Mauritania secured their first win at the tournament with a surprise victory over Algeria. This win propelled them to the knockout stages, while Ghana saw their hopes extinguished. The defending champions, Algeria, also failed to progress beyond the group stages, raising questions about their coach Jamal Belmadi. Meanwhile, Egypt captain M. O. Sulla has returned to Liverpool for treatment on a hamstring injury, causing some controversy in his home country. In the NBA, officials missed 10 calls in the final two minutes of a game between the Charlotte Hornets and the Minnesota Timberwolves. This has sparked debate and frustration among fans and players alike. It's a reminder that even the best referees can make mistakes. In the NFL, Yahoo Sports NFL writer Charles McDonald and Marshall Newhouse discussed the upcoming AFC Championship game between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. They provide insights and analysis on both teams' defensive units. Be sure to check out their conversation on the exempt list with Charles McDonald podcast. On the topic of cruises, Royal Caribbean has christened the world's largest cruise ship, the Icon of the Seas, in Miami. This massive ship can carry nearly 8,000 people and incorporates energy-efficient technology to minimize its carbon footprint. However, it has faced criticism for its potential environmental impact. Can the world's largest cruise ship really be climate-friendly? In football news, Chris Hutton has been fired as the coach of the Ghana national team after the team's early exit from the Africa Cup of Nations. The Ghana Football Association has also decided to dissolve the technical team of the Black Stars. This is a disappointing turn of events for Ghana, and fans will be looking forward to seeing what changes will be made in the future. In baseball, third baseman Adrian Beltra, catcher Joe Maurer, and first baseman Todd Helton have been elected to the Baseball Hall of Fame. These players have had remarkable careers and deserve their place among the greats of the game. Turning to China's economy, it has had a bad start in 2024. Chinese stock markets have experienced a sharp decline, and the property market is also doing worse. This slowdown could impact China's status in terms of GDP growth compared to the United States. Back to basketball, Team USA has selected its 41-player pool for the 2024 Olympics in Paris, with big names like LeBron James, Kevin Durant, and Stephen Curry leading the way. The team will aim to win its fifth consecutive men's basketball gold at the Games. In the NBA coaching world, the Milwaukee Bucks have fired head coach Adrian Griffin. The team is reportedly negotiating with Doc Rivers to replace him. It will be interesting to see how this coaching change affects the team's performance. In netball news, Australia remains undefeated in the Netball Nations Cup. However, controversy surrounds the defunct Collingwood Magpies team, which withdrew from Super Netball last year despite receiving financial support from the federal government. Assistant coach Nicole Richardson expressed disappointment with the lack of recognition for the team's history. In more basketball news, the firing of Adrian Griffin by the Milwaukee Bucks highlights the team's struggles. The Bucks are reportedly targeting Doc Rivers as their next head coach, hoping his championship experience can turn things around. The pressure is on for the Bucks to make improvements, as their core players are not getting any younger. In the world of college sports, Yuga X, the University of Georgia's English Bulldog mascot, has passed away. Known as K, he served as the school's mascot for eight seasons and oversaw two national championships. He will be remembered as one of the most decorated mascots in program history. Lastly, Japan coach Hajime Moriyasu has condemned the racist abuse suffered by goalkeeper Zion Suzuki. Moriyasu strongly objected to those who violated Suzuki's human rights and called for an end to racist comments. 
It's disappointing to see such behavior in the world of sports. That's all for today's news. Remember, these stories are just the tip of the iceberg, and there's always more to explore. What are your thoughts on these topics? Feel free to join the discussion and share your ideas. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the six-degree world. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the Six Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of Six Do Brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the Six Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize Six Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, sixdobrief.com. Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive Six Do Brief by email.